All right, Pisces, what the hell? What the hell? I would expect something like this out of Scorpio, not you guys. Now, from Lee Vampire, you pulled thirst, craving, compulsion, and obsession, but then from Chakra Wisdom, you pulled joy. Now, basically, it's you craving joy in your life, but if you're not willing to take the leap, then you can't expect to be that conduit for joy. Joy is very much like the fool, but this is the moment after the leap. You may not see where you are going, but you will land on your feet, right? But if you're not willing to jump, then, you know, this is something that you're going to be continuously wanting and obsessing over, but not actually being able to obtain. It's almost like, you know, it's funny because I continuously see strength this week. All right, Pisces, here's your overall for the week, the world. You know, when I see this as the overall, I immediately think that, yeah, absolutely. There is a need to get closure on something, but then there's also you know, the need to take the next steps here to complete a major chapter in your life, right? This is definitely a, a major ending, but when you're looking at the world, it's supposed to be the successful completion. But how do you get there? You know, this to me is like what you are trying to achieve now. It's time to close the door. It's time to, you know, go right back to the full, right? And then you have joy. But, you know, I don't think that some of you are ready yet to make that jump. But definitely with the world being the overall closure, needing to get absolute closure on something. Now, oof, in the past, the Ace of Cups. So, it's still very much there for you. And I do think that it's something that you're wanting. But how do you get it? That's, that's the problem with, you know, thirst showing up. The Ace of Cups. You're talking about new love, new emotional fulfillment, something that's going to make you happy, new beginning, new spiritual connection. But, you know, the, the world being there is basically saying the only way to get to that is when you hit that major completion, right? In the present, the high priest or the hierophant. Now, you know, we could be talking about a major commitment here with the high priest, but then also, you know, learning how to deal with the changes that you've been through because of him ruling the fives, right? And then I look at the keys of knowledge, right? But then spiritual support and spiritual understanding, you know, being a little bit more grounded, but then also needing to have something traditional, you know, wanting a major commitment here. But you can't, I, I feel like because of the Oracle cards that it just, it, it's not, not yet, not yet, but you are just about there. Future conditions, the Ten of Pentacles. So we could definitely be talking about, you know, a family situation here. But, you know, I look at this more and I think of the long haul, right? A commitment that is going to carry you through for the long term. You know, this to me is the let's grow old together, right? Needing to have something to show for, you know, the commitment that you make here with the high priest. But we're talking about overall stability and security. You know, and then again, we're still looking at needing to complete something out here. Your best path to follow the seven of wands. You know, if this is what you're wanting, you need to speak up, you know. You got to speak up for yourself. But then also I feel like setting boundaries though too, which is weird because it's like you want that Ace of Cups, but this is where the line in the sand is. You cannot cross this, right? I want something, you know, stable, secure, something that's going to be long-term here, making a major commitment. But, you know, it's almost like these are my demands. And that may be preventing you from, you know, making that jump. But then at the same time, though, I feel like it's what you need to do in order to get to a place where you feel like, okay, I'm ready to close out everything that, you know, has happened before here with the world. Let's move forward here as long as you understand where I'm coming from, you know. But if you're wanting this and you're not speaking up, then you can't expect to, you know, have it, you know, which may be why the obsession is coming through. 
in your environment, the five of wands there, you know, especially if we're talking about like, you know, I'm looking at that five of wands and I'm looking at the hierophant or the high priest here. And I'm thinking, okay, there are misunderstandings here around what you are willing to commit to. And there is a need for you to kind of, you know, speak up about what you will and will not accept but you're still wanting something that is going to be committed and long lasting here, whether we're talking about work, family, business, relationships here. But I still see you moving into a place where you have this, you know, but there's not a whole lot of, you know, understanding happening here with the five of wands. You're talking about petty misunderstandings. You know, it's not like, fighting so much as you know somebody not hearing you but if you're not speaking up then you know that may be causing the misunderstanding you know you may not be hearing somebody else though either now for some of you if we're talking about a work situation then with the high priest being there it's almost like you know do you really want to make a commitment to a job situation where you're going to be you know constantly having to battle other people to reach the top you know I mean, which definitely could be the case here. But I, I'm still looking at that Ace of Cups. And I'm looking at, you know, for some of you dealing with misunderstandings in terms of what you're expecting, but then also, you know, the internal conflict here on whether or not this is a commitment you want to make. But if you do, though, you know, the Ten of Pentacles being there is saying that this is going to take you the long haul for sure. Your hopes and your fears, the Knight of Swords. Now, to me, it's almost like there is something that needs to be said. It needs to be said in a very direct way. But then the fear there, though, would be acting a little bit too quickly, though. Especially with, you know, the conflict that's happening here with the Five of Wands. Now, you know, again, with this need to kind of speak up for yourself, you know, the fear would be that, nobody understands like they're not hearing you they're not understanding you know but you're still needing to get it out of your system almost like look let me just be direct with you and absolutely honest and blunt but you know are you listening to the other person though too you know but i feel like it's more so because there's a lot riding on that ace of cups you know because still with the hierophant being there it's it's a major commitment but I do look at the world and think, you know, the only way that you're going to feel successful is to have, you know, closure on these misunderstandings, you know, but does that mean that you have to be that harsh? You know what I mean? And I don't so much feel like this is going to have to do with anybody else. I think that this is about you just because of this being your advice and you needing to draw that line in the sand. You know, this is what I will accept and what I won't. But you have to be willing to hear the other person out just the same. You know, if you're talking about making a commitment, whether it's to work or a relationship, right? Now, when we're looking at the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups and a need for you to speak up, it's like, I can't deal with rejection again. You know, I'm not going to be cast aside. You know, if this offer is still here, then yeah, there needs to be a major commitment, but there is misunderstanding as far as what that means. And that's why, you know, you're kind of being told here to speak up, but you can't, and that's where strength is coming through. You can't, you know deal with this again but you also can't let it stop you from having that joy now with the king of cups absolutely we could be talking about the other person here and you could be talking about a water sign but you're also talking about you know you on an emotional level here and being more in control of your own emotions whether you're male or female but it's going to have to do with possibly a love situation here you know, and wanting a long-term commitment. That's what I'm seeing more than anything here. I think that I'm talking to those of you who are wanting to, you know, have something that is going to be for the rest of your life. Looking at the Ten of Pentacles, 
but you know needing to have the strength to speak up and then speak up about you know your own emotions surrounding this you know not wanting to be cast aside but the other thing i feel like too with the king of cups is you know there needs to be that part of you that is showing you know some kind of emotion i almost feel like you know due to you know what you will and won't accept it's putting you in a spot where you're coming off as a little bit too harsh and not coming from a loving place you know but i do think that this is going to be about you know wanting that joy of being in something that's going to be long-term and secure now for those of you who are in a relationship this is basically getting past disagreements misunderstandings you know making yourself clear when it comes to what you will and won't accept I don't think that, you know, you are going to have a hard time making a major commitment here, but it's only if somebody understands where you're coming from, but you have to be willing to do the same. And I think that's why the King of Cups is showing up, right? Because you need to be emotionally supportive just as much as the other person needs to be there for you. But, you know, I'm looking at this and then looking at the lovers coming out. And to me, it's like, if this is what you've been craving and obsessing over, you're going to have to take a leap of faith here because of joy, you know, because to me, that's very much like the fool. You can be a conduit for joy, but you have to be willing to do that. But, you know, if you're in a place here where you feel like, you know, the other person is not understanding you, then I can see how, you know, it's hard for you to move forward here. And again, I go back to strength, right? Reconnect with spirit and heal heart and spirit. It's like needing to reconnect with the spiritual part of yourself. Like I've always said, we walk a very fine line between being too materialistic and too spiritual. You are in the meat suit. There is no point in acting like, you know, the only way to be spiritual is to, to totally negate, you know, experiencing things on the physical level, right? You can't ignore one or the other here. Now, for some of you, it's needing to get away from, you know, material expectations and reconnecting with what your spirit wants. And apparently here it's needing to heal, you know, but then I look at the intertwining going on and thinking, you know, the healing of, you know, your own heart and spirit, not just for you, but for another person that you may be involved with, right? because of the lovers. But the only way that you're going to heal heart and spirit and find your inner power is if you reconnect with spirit, right? And stop looking at things from, you know, a material standpoint, from a practical standpoint, right? And then turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. And that is where, you know, that love will be returned to you. But, you know, you always have a choice here, right? Do you want that love? You need to make that choice. You need to make that choice to experience that joy, you know, but you have to go back to a place where you remember feeling loved, right? And loving someone else. All right, Pisces. So now with the world being the overall here, I do think that for a lot of you, this is going to be about, you know, closing the door on a part of your life here, but opening the door to something new. The problem is though, is looking at thirst and joy. It's like, if you're not willing to make that leap, then you're not going to become that conduit for joy. It is absolutely there for you. But if this is something that you've been obsessing over, then what is the hesitation about? And then I look at this now again, right? That joy is there. You definitely have the Ace of Cups coming through, but I think that there's some misunderstandings as far as, you know, what you are expecting here in terms of a major commitment with the, the Hierophant being there. But, you know, I look at the Five of Wands and then I look at you needing to, you know, speak up about what you're expecting. But then there is the part of you that I think is being a little bit too harsh, a little bit too, you know, direct here. Because I still look at that King of Cups and think that you need to come from an emotional place, you know, and needing to show that side. But then I also think that, you know, you need to say what needs to be said here. Drawing the line in the sand, I think, is the best way to put it when it comes to commitments. Whether we're talking about, you know, family business, you know, your own work situations with the Ace of Cups coming through, but then also possibly having to do with a love situation because of the lovers. Now, 
This to me looks like if you make this commitment with this new beginning that is still there for you, this could take you the long haul for the rest of your life. You know, once you get to that place of closure here and that successful completion of misunderstandings, miscommunications, and you say what needs to be said, the commitment that you are about to make here with the Ace of Cups will be for the rest of your life. Now, looking at strength and then looking at the Five of Pentacles, it makes sense to me that, you know, you're needing to pull on your inner strength to say no to rejection. You know, not having to go through this again, but then, you know, also pulling on your inner strength to continue, you know, wanting to make this commitment with the Ace of Cups, regardless of the fact that you may have experienced this before. You know, because I look at the two of these and I think, you know, it's no wonder why strength is coming through, right? Now, this too is, you know, also about not allowing yourself to be on the outside looking in on your own life and thinking that, you know, these things aren't possible for you though either. Now, moving into the King of Cups, like I said, I do think that it's about, you know, you being a little bit more emotional. It's not that you need to be any more obsessed than what you already are. You know, I, I just think that if you're going to communicate, you need to do it in a way where you're showing your own emotional side. There's definitely wisdom when it comes to your emotions. But, you know, with the lovers here, right, we could definitely be talking about the other person. But, you know, you're still needing to pull on your strength here to make the commitment toward, you know, this new beginning. You know, because like I said, it looks like, you know, if you do this, this is going to last you for the rest of your life which is great, whether we're talking about relationship or work. But there is a lot of misunderstanding over expectations. And it's not so much that there's any kind of fantasies going on, because I'm not looking at the Seven of Cups. It's just that you need to communicate that in a more clearer way. Now, the Soul Tree is reconnect with spirit, heal heart and spirit, and then inner power. And then I go right back to strength. But, you know, you need to reconnect with your own spirit here and heal, you know, whatever damage has been done because you have neglected, you know, your spiritual side. But then, you know, it opens you up to your inner power here once you do that healing. Now, as far as whispers of love, choose love. You always have a choice. You know, you can choose this or you can choose not to have this, right? But then turn on your heart light is basically saying that this may help you make the choice. If you go back to a time where you remember, you know, what it was like to have love and give love. But, you know, if this is something that you've been craving and wanting and wanting to have this type of joy, you know, you're going to have to have faith. Faith that, you know, this is something that is going to be what is going to leave you in a position where you are happy for the rest of your life.